For my filling, I'm gonna take the zest of two lemons and the juice of five or six lemons until I have three quarters of a cup total of zest and juice combined. So here we have three quarters of a cup lemon juice. It only took me three lemons to arrive at that. And it's actually a little bit more than three quarters of a cup when you put this juice and the zest together. So this is going to be an excellent pie. So 266 grams of sugar, three quarters cup of that juice. We threw it in here and a cup and a quarter of water, a quarter tablespoon of kosher salt and 50 grams of cornstarch. We're going to get these lumps out of here. Cornstarch, of course, is a thickening agent. And we're going to whisk it till it's nice and smooth. And then we're going to go to work on our eggs. I'm going to need four egg yolks. So, there's four. Let's start cooking up our filling. Medium heat. When this starts to get warm and thicken, and constantly we'll be whisking it. My yolks are nicely whisked. This is on medium heat. And I'm going to continue to stir this throughout. All right, this looks really good. You see that? We're going to pour some of that a little bit in here with these egg yolks so we can bring up the temperature of the egg yolks took that off the heat over there and this raises that temperature and then we'll add it back in the whole thing back in here and we'll get in this process here mix that up as quick as I can this is really coming along nicely of course, it's hot right now, so it's a little wetter, if you will. It's running. We're going to cook it some more anyhow, so that'll make it thicker. I'm going to add uh, four tablespoons of butter, unsalted butter. Unsalted butter, which is really going to make it nice and creamy. And I'm going to count out two minutes in my head. We're going to stir this for another two minutes at this temperature of medium. And it already looks perfect. Those two minutes appear to have done a really good job. And this smells so good. And I don't know what you can see with the color because of these darn lights. But this is absolutely beautiful. My dough for the crust has been in the refrigerator for hours. And now I'm going to roll it out. A little bit of flour everywhere on my surface, on my dough, and I already put a bunch of it on my rolling pin. Let's do this. This pie is going to have a nice thick crust and That worked very nicely. Thank you very much. I am very pleased with this. I'm not hard to please, but this very definitely pleases me. This isn't terribly fancy, but it's something to do completely unnecessary. 
This is 100% cosmetic in nature. But I'm going to do it anyhow. There's that crust. Now I'm going to prepare it for baking. Okay, I made this liner out of parchment paper for cooking. And I made this little pan. I'm filling it with beans. I won't waste these. These will get cooked later. You can use weights that they make just for this. And this will prevent the crust from falling. This is going to go in the oven at 425 degrees for 15 minutes. That was 15 minutes. We're going to remove all of this. Careful, it's hot. Get rid of those beans and get rid of this right here. Let's go back in the oven for a bit. But first, we're going to put an egg wash. That's just an egg. Yolk and white. Just a whole egg. I whisked it with a fork. It doesn't need to be much, but it needs to be everywhere. Anywhere you don't put it will not cook as evenly. Well, make sure you get it on that crust. We don't want that to overcook. And we're gonna do something here in a second to protect that crust, the crust edge that is. I think I have applied this egg wash evenly and everywhere. And that's what you need to do. We want to poke this all over. Get it to cook evenly. And I'm going to poke the sides a bit. I got a little rough with the egg there on my crust, but it's okay. We're going to be all right. Now, I'm going to use these scraps to build a tent around the edges. This was sitting in a drawer. I'm glad we didn't throw it away when we used it. Save your aluminum foil. So there we are, all nice and tented. Got it nice and tented. I'm putting it back in the oven for another 15 minutes at 425 degrees. And we're all done with the second 15 minutes. Look how nice that crust looks. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That looks really good. Look at that. Now, I'm gonna put it back in for just a little bit. I don't know if I need to, because it's supposed to all be golden brown. There's a little bit right there that didn't cook. So I'm going to put it back in just for a minute, but first I'm going to lower the temperature to 375. And then we'll put it back in, but just keep an eye on it. And I have a beautiful golden brown pie crust. When this is cool, I'm going to put the filling in. Our crust is at room temperature, and our filling is at room temperature. So it's now safe. Put them together. I accidentally sampled the filling on purpose, and it's very good. So that's all nicely arranged in there now. Not that it matters all that much, it'll all be covered with meringue. Let's see how this tastes. Mmm. Then I time put my sugar in. There goes my teaspoon of vanilla. That gives it lots of flavor. There's 
those peaks, and that's perfect. I'm gonna add my hot water now. Move that aside. My sugar water is at 240 degrees. It has to be 235 or 240. And I'm gonna put it in here slowly while I mix. A little bit at a time. Now that I added that scalding hot sugar water, I'm going to keep whipping it until it's back down to close to room temperature. I'd say this is done. Look at those beautiful peaks. Got it back down to room temperature. Now here we just take the biggest glob we possibly can, throw it right in the middle, and do that over and over and over again. And then afterwards, we arrange it into the little corners and cubbies. Look at all that beautiful meringue. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to be fighting with the dogs for the right to clean this pan out. I'm just poking around and filling your little cubbies there. That looks very close to the perfect amount of meringue. We can do these little things, make these wispy things on it. And when you cook those, that turns out real pretty. I'm gonna, I don't have a kitchen torch, so I'm going to do this with the broiler. We're going to brown all those little tips. This has been a lot of fun to make. I can't wait to take a bite out of it. I have my lemon meringue pie nice and browned on top. I had to do it in the, in the broiler because I ran out of propane. My torch was empty. But it's just for looks anyhow, and it's pretty. And I'm very pleased. Here it is. The moment of truth. I want to make sure I get my crust real pretty. Ooh la la. Now see it isn't cool enough yet. It's still a little bit warm there. So it came off a little bit soft. But this looks so good. That might be too big. Hmm, how do I put it back? I'm going to have to eat it. <laughs>